transparent with you guys. Um, there are three verses in the Bible that have encouraged me in some of the most darkest seasons of my life. Uh, they're found in the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1. It's verse 1, 2, and 3. You know it. It says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form or void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. Before God said, let there be light, in verse 2, there was darkness. But also, in the second verse of the Bible, it says, in that darkness, God's spirit moved. It suggests that no matter how dark your season is, it's not an excuse not to believe that God is moving on your behalf. I don't care how dark it is, he's still moving. The next point is, when life is lifing, <laughs> specifically the dark seasons in your life are opportunities for you to walk by faith and not by sight. And God leverages our dark times to give us opportunities to exercise one of the most important attributes a believer should have. Because the book of Hebrews teaches us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And one of the challenges is, even for myself as a believer, is that when I'm going through dark times, I have to remind myself that mine and your verse three is on the way. That no matter how dark it is right now, God is getting ready to say, let there be light. Guy's never late. He's always on time. So don't give up. See, when Peter was out fishing all night, he cut nothing. But then the next morning, Jesus told him to cast his net. And he cut a lot of fish. So don't give up. Like he said, God said, let there be light. And there was light in the midst of darkness. So I don't know what darkness you're going through today but know that God is with you and he will shine light in that darkness okay nothing is impossible for him